Okay, so if you're gonna carve a wood spirit in a pencil, best thing to do is find a pencil with a really skinny lead. The one on the right is that one. So here we go. I'm gonna take the paint off first. I'm using the Cutsall Taper Burr, the fine one. And I'm only gonna take the paint off where I'm actually carving the wood spirit because I kind of want it to kind of disappear, sort of submerge into the pencil. So I'm putting in the eyes there, dragging them down and sort of forming a nose. Now I'm gonna do it a little bit sort of wider at the bottom so I can put in nostrils. Even though this is really, really small, I still wanna have details in it. And you're gonna notice me in this video, I'm gonna be just sort of lightly touching everything. And that's because if you put any pressure on this wood, it's, well, if I put any pressure on that nose, it will just disappear completely. And it's just like making any other wood spirit, you kind of like rough out that general shape first with a, uh, well you wouldn't use an extreme flame burr for this one. But you can do it with a taper burr, you could probably do it with a diamond burr as well. Uh, so I'm here, I'm, I'm going in and I'm starting to put in the details and I'm going to use diamond burrs from now on to get those details right in there. Uh, I really like this kind of like, I don't know what to call it, I always call it, it's, I call this the mushroom head burr. And you're going to use it, like, I'm just showing you sort of like the places where you can carve on this burr. You can carve on the top, on the side, and use the edge of it as well. So here I am, I'm using the top of it just to smooth off the cheeks and sort of give that nose a little bit of shape there. You've still got to be really careful with the nose that you don't completely make it too skinny. Okay, so I'm using a drill bit there to get into the little areas. But if you'll notice here, the part below the nose and the moustache is really hard to get and even a burr can't really get in there or that bit. So I've gone for my trusty, I think it's a Moira 120 knife. Uh, you don't have to have one of these. You could actually use uh, just a scalpel blade as well. So I'm no expert at using knives, but I tend to do just like a cut and then going in a different angle and chip that out. I guess that's called a chip cut. Maybe it's called something else, I don't know. Uh, so it's just really good to get into those really tight areas. So I'm sort of like upturning the nostrils just slightly. Oh yeah, so there I am. I am using a scalpel blade just to show you it can be done. And always wear gloves if you're new to using knives. Because uh, I was really cutting towards myself there, which is not the done thing to do, but the wood was in between me and the knife. And I'm just putting in the eyes here, so I've gone for that burr there. And it's quite nice because generally it's probably about the shape of the eye, top of the eyebrow. And I'm just sort of like going around and smoothing parts out with it as well. Okay, so now I am putting in the eyebrows. So I'm just sort of like smoothing out the for forehead, the forehead. I think you call it forehead. Anyway, yeah, so I just tend to smooth it out and then leave the eyebrows sort of a little bit protruded. Now I'm going to put in the mustache hairs and the beard hairs, and I'm using that mushroom burr again. I found this is probably the easiest. What you got to be careful with here is not to press it too hard because you don't want to, you only want to use that edge of the mushroom burr. And I think kind of like a project like this is quite fun to do. We've all got pencils, we've all got like a spear. I think this probably took me half an hour to do uh, if I wasn't filming. And 
I, it just teaches you control you know you have to press lightly you have to have good boo choices you have to think about it and you have to think about uh, what's essential in a wood spirit because you're not going to put in all the details because you just can't get them in there And I'm sort of putting in a little line there to make sure that you can sort of like see that's a hat. I quite like the design of this one because you kind of got like the same shape at the top and the bottom of the wood spirit. So you've got the beard forming sort of like a sort of like a elongated triangle and the uh, top of the hat forming that triangle. And now I'm sort of just going underneath and trying to get underneath that paintwork and so sort of like making the wood spirit sort of uh, emerge out of the pencil if you would it's sort of like submerged into there and i used one of those sort of wire brushy things uh, i don't know the technical term for it uh, to sand off the sort of fuzzy bits and a little bit of hand sanding there just a word of warning with those uh, wire brush ones is always wear goggles and don't stick your face in so like directly where it's going to shoot up because the wire does come out well you can actually see there sorry change the subject I actually did hit the uh, lead of the pencil at the top of the hat and I was sure I was going to hit it in other places especially around the mouth but I never did and I'd just like to thank you all for supporting the channel as well I'm just about up to actually 4,000 subscribers which is a real achievement for me I never thought I'd get there um, who knows what's next but uh, I, I'm really loving uh, making these videos for you and your comments and I, I always try and help you guys out and uh, love your questions um, yeah so there's the pencil wood spirit mm -hmm.